What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, I was against this clan, Legend, uh, South Korean clan, level 8. And if you guys remember my last recap, uh, it was a random matchup for Invicta. They, It was a really difficult war, and this actually was a kind of another difficult war um, in a different sense. Uh, Invicta pulled through with the 96-92 to 92 victory. Uh, this Legend clan was kind of one of those clans. I don't know if it's like a bot clan like the guys just got a bunch of different accounts if it's all the same guy or if these are actually different person and legend is just like their clan tag and they made their name the clan tag but i don't know but as you can see all of these guys legend 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 uh they did pretty good you know they uh got threes on a couple of our 9.5s uh, quite a few threes on the nines, missed a few of the nines, so that's where their shortcoming was. Surprised they didn't use their last nine attacks to try and clean that up and maybe go for the tie or the win, but uh, as you can see, Invicta cleared all the nines. Nice job, gentlemen. Uh, did have a couple shortcomings, uh, two one stars on the tens and a one star in their 11. So they did have three Town Hall 11s in there. Uh, makes it difficult, especially since Town Hall 11 is ridiculous. Uh, but is what it is so check a few of these sexy attacks that will start off with knx here on their number six standard issue knx quad lalo suicide hero so he goes ahead he's going to jump right over top of that queen any second now there it is a couple giants go in going to drop that queen to back everything up uh, really just wants to create a bit of a funnel for his king here needs to bounce the king off right in at that arch queen Oh, excuse me. Uh, King goes in. Uh, doesn't even need to take a swat of that queen. The defensive queen took her down. Or the, his offensive queen took the defensive queen down. Poison goes down. Take care of the CC troops. Uh, really just needs to buy a little bit of time to to make sure the CC troops get taken care of by that poison. Drops the first one nice and early. And then drops the second poison here any second. Make sure that dragon goes down. There it goes. So just going to wait this out because he does not want that dragon locking onto any of his air troops. Two more seconds, and he's going to go ahead and send in the Lava Hounds right on cue on this kind of 11 o'clock air defense. First two hounds are in. Haste go down. Going to really just push the loons through these defenses right on top of that air D. His other Lava or one of his other Lava Hounds goes in on this air defense and drops another one. Good angles on those Lava Hounds. Soaking up all those traps. Haste go down. Single target Infernos don't stand a chance against that many balloons. Really needs to get over to this multi Inferno as, as fast as he can. Uh, but as you can see, his loons are really making good headway. Rage goes down. Is really, really patient on this freeze. But look at the value he gets on this freeze. Boom. Air defense, Inferno Tower, Expo, all frozen. Loons are right on top of that Inferno before the freeze even wears off. And they're even on top of this air defense before it, right as it wears off. So that many balloons with one air defense does not stand a chance. Wizard Tower gets taken down. Air defense gets taken down. It is basically clean up. KNX the boss. Nice job, buddy. Very sexy. Couple more trash buildings, and that's your three stars in the bag. Nice. All right. So a bit of a theme I saw here in the Victor War. What I liked about it was a lot of very classic old school back to the basics attacks. And I'm going to show you what I mean um, about this. Alpha's attack is a very standard max attack. This is a, still a newer. This wouldn't be a back to the basics attack. I just thought this was a very standard issue max attack. Basically, a max attack is a Shatter Lalo. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my headset there. Strange. Uh, anyhow, the max attack, the idea is it's a Shatter Lalo, but you use all of your spells pretty much on... Um, on your kill squad so opens up this huge section with the earthquakes uh gonna have access to both those air defense the defense queen and that sweeper both expos as well at the same time uh so really good patience on the king here make sure the king goes in behind the golems golems moving in cc troops come out rage goes down to help everything kind of move along poison goes down to start taking out the cc troops and slow them right down op poison for life <clears throat> drag loons don't stand a chance against it queen takes finishes off that dragon she's going to help with these defenses and it really just needs that air defense to go down and the kill squad's job is complete big chunk of the base is uh taken out the base is extremely crippled for the rest of this air attack he's got three lava hounds and 14 balloons to kind of work on the rest of this base 
really huge length on that one balloon. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, another balloon down on that mortar. A few more down on each of these defenses. Going to go ahead and drop a haste, I believe, kind of in this section. He, um, once this section gets taken down, the haste is used to push everything as fast as it can over to that last remaining air defense because it is quite the travel time for the balloons. Uh, so you can see he drops that Lama Hound. Perfect kind of timing. Right as the air defense goes down, it redirects immediately onto this uh, remaining air defense. Haste is about to go down, like I said. There it is. So the balloons are going to finish off this archer tower and just fly right over it. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> right over on top of that air defense. Uh, what if, what if actually probably might not have been a bad idea, not even, even drop the haste, because anyone have got the lava hound to burst. Queen gets in there, finishes off the defenses before the balloons can even get on top, and it is cleanup time. A few pups around the base. Look at that, like one pup on like every trash building. Huh, that was kind of cool. Uh, really sexy attack, Alpha. Nice job. Three stars in the bag. Beauty. All right. So there is your max attack. I do have, um, I was talking about in my one of my last videos about Shattered Lalo um, and how I, I think, um, I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not saying it is the only attack. I'm not saying it three stars every time. But I think Shattered Lalo has one of the highest success rates for a Town Hall Online attack. Um, and let me show you why. You know, Derpy Dude comes in here. Kind of an interesting base. Uh, Derp's going to go ahead and get the free lure from uh, this one giant he sends in. Lure comes out. Drag loons so we know the double poison handles that like nothing. One poison down. Waits a second. Goes ahead and drops the other poison here. He misses the one balloon with the poison, but it doesn't matter because he's got two poisons. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so as soon as the CC is taken care of, he's going to go ahead and send in a shattered entry from the 12 o'clock. Uh, these army camps are very convenient places because uh, you can just drop a golem kind of on either side, get the free army camp funnel, and then anything he sends from 12 o'clock is going to go directly straight down into that base. So, so uh, see how this works out here? One wizard, wi uh, army camp's down, another golem, another wizard, army camp is down, funnel is now created. Goes ahead and sends in the wall breakers at that 12 o'clock tip. Opens up the wall. Queen goes down, start taking out some of that trash. Goes ahead and lets those golems into that compartment. Queen is about to lock onto that king. Boom, boom, boom. Offensive king's getting taken down. Another swipe. King jumps in there to help it out. So he's going to go ahead and drop a jump right over top of that clan castle. Start moving the golems down into the rest of this base. Uh, the king does get uh, aggro from that expo. He didn't want that. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Rage goes down for that queen because that queen's just going to start ripping this base to shreds. King goes in, locks on to that defensive queen, smacks her down like a boss. See you later, defensive queen. Really just needs that last air defense to go down. The wizard steps up, helps the golems finish it off. Boom, defensive, uh, or air defense is now down. So it goes ahead and commences with the air attack. So Lava Hound, nice spread on the Lava Hounds. Kind of sends in a couple balloons in from uh, on each of these outer defenses. Haste goes down on the outside to just kind of push the balloons as fast as possible right on top of this Tesla trap. Another Haste goes down, same thing, to make sure those balloons come off the edge and go, like, he targeted that air defense off of the edge of the map. I thought that was really neat. Um, very poor air defense placement for this guy. Uh, if your air defenses are targetable, uh, by hogs or loons uh, off the edge without any defenses in between. That is not good. Uh, so Derp really exploits that. Sweeper was giving him a little bit of trouble on this side. But as you can see, he's got way too many balloons. Still an un full, basically full health Lava Hound unburst here. Um, really difficult to try and judge if you need that third Lava Hound for two air defense. Probably could have got away with it because of how easily targetable the air defenses were on the outside. Um, but it's always the safer route because you never know with some uh, black mines. They could really, really finish your uh, Lava Hounds off quickly. And if you don't get the amount of tanking you need uh, for your balloons to take out the rest of the base, then your Shattered Lalo will be in trouble. So just something to think about when you're planning your attacks. Um, so I did have another, what was it, 17? No, one before that, 16. Uh, BBJ brings another Shattered Lalo here. Um, so same idea here, guys. You notice this section of the base is going to drop a golem, a few wizards create his funnel, golem, a couple more wizards and a minion create his funnel. There goes the minion, comes the golem, and it goes. Really just creating a nice spread here. 
In a moment, he's going to drop a jump spell. There it goes. Let those golems in on those defenses. Queen is now backing everything up. He's got a couple wizards in there doing work. Double poison once again. Just going to shred the CC like it's not even there. Even gets the queen in the poison. I thought that was kind of neat. Doesn't do her a heck of a lot of damage, but what it does do is really slows her rate of fire. So buys the golems just a little more time, which buys king a little more time to get in there. Smack her down like a biatch. <laughs> I really wanted to say it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but Queen's down. Both air defenses are down. Kill Squad's job is done. Immediately commences with the air attack. So Lava Hound goes in. Couple loons right in behind it. Make sure um, the Hound is tanking. Well, it, well, it buys the loons time to get right on top of the defenses. Same thing over here. Two more loons on uh, each of those Archer Towers. Rage even goes down to kind of push everything in right on top of that air defense. They're going to take down that air defense. The last Hound's going to move its way up. Oh, sorry, he drops the last Lava Hound, and there's that other Lava Hound. See those air mines? If you kind of drop a Hound in the wrong angle and you shorted yourself on Lava Hounds, it could end your raid very quickly. So doesn't hurt to always bring that extra Lava Hound per air defense remaining. Rage is down, haste is down, everything's getting busted up like nothing. Way too many balloons for these point defenses to handle. It is clean up. Shattered Lalo strikes again. BBJ. BBJ has been on a roll lately, actually, um, with all different types of attacks. That's what I like from BBJ. Uh, really just picks the best attack that he should be bringing. Uh, doesn't pick his favorite attack that he tries to force work into a base. Um, really breaks it down and bring it what's necessary to three-star the base. So BBJ, nice job. Keep it up, bud. <clears throat> all right, Burt Dog. So Burt Dog brings a little bit different attack. This is not a basic. This is not a basic attack, but it is like a um, a variation of a basic. It's a variation of a shattered Go Hope. So instead of bringing one jump and three heals and no Valks, he brings five Valks with the double jump. And the idea here is there's a DGB in between this Air D and Expo. So you really wanted to enter at this location to make sure that double giant bomb gets taken out. But because the queen is so far away, he needed those Valks to ensure that he has enough tanking to get over to this defensive queen. So you'll see how this kind of plays out in a second. Valks are in there kind of running around, doing their thing. There was only one place for them to go, though, once they're in this compartment. See these Valks? They kind of jump out to the outside. That's retarded. They should have kept moving forward. It is what it is, though. kind of helps out and takes out this Tesla for them. So that is nice. Uh, plus, the Lava Hound locked onto them. And then once the Valks died, the Lava Hound locks onto the, to the Hawk. So it works perfectly. So you see that jump? Finally, the few, few Valks and the King get in there, take out that Queen. Um... I didn't notice this when I first watched the replay. He even dropped a heal there to heal his Valks up and, and kind of finish it off. So you can see he started the Cogs now. And this Lava Hound's locked onto the Hogs. Nothing is going to burst that Lava Hound. So the CC is rendered useless this raid. Um, heal goes down for those Hogs under that bomb. Looking fantastic. Few more Hogs kind of sprinkling in on these outer defenses. Drops a Giant and four more Hogs for this little tiny compartment here. Giant gets great value though. Um... Although the golem or the arch tower is locked onto the golem, doesn't really matter. Those four hogs are going to rip apart with the help of that queen. All the defenses are down. It is clean up. Double swag poison. This definitely was a first hit because I know Bert would not have brought a double poison if it was a lava hound on the CC. Beauty attack. Nice job, Bert Dog. All right. I think I have one more. Yeah, I want to show one more from the bottom of the map here. Uh, DLT, uh, newer member of Invicta, really showing his stuff here. Number 30 on our map. So this is probably a more common base you guys um, are used to seeing in your random matchups. A uh, lot of Town Hall 8 defenses, but high level expos. Um, kind of a very strange upgrade order for this guy. Uh, I would never suggest doing that. I wouldn't even drop my Expos when you go to 9. I would get all my other defenses to 8. And then I would work on my walls and my heroes. Make sure all of my offensive stuff is going before I even looked at dropping those Expos. Never mind upgrading them. One of them to level 3 and one to level 2. Is what it is though. Some people, you know, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> uh, so it goes ahead and he's got, he brings a standard Shattered Goho here. So another back to the basics attack, really. Okay, so two Golems are in. Creates the funnel, just like the Lalo. Nice funnel for his king. Goes ahead and drops the king. He's got the double poison. Take care of the loon and the um, the loons and the dragon. 
boom, boom, boom. Poison's going to work through them like nothing. Queen steps up, is going to start helping out, uh, takes out the balloon, starts working on that dragon. A few more shots on that dragon, it's going to go down like nothing. See you later. So goes ahead and takes a huge piece of this base, sends in the hogs from the kind of 2 o'clock position, single bomb under that heel, no big deal. That rhymed apparently. <laughs> oh, man. It was a long late night for me last night. Uh, so you see a few a handful more hogs just kind of working through the defenses another heel goes down kind of gonna allow those hogs to just shred through the teslas shred through that chunk of the base uh bombs are triggered but the heels down and another heel goes down to take care of them. there's so many hogs left over i really like the two balloons you opted for for this last archer tower i don't know if you had meant to drop them earlier or if they were specifically for that moment um <laughs> was just kind of neat the way it worked out but it's cleanup time so many hogs left you didn't even drop your double poison i guess you dropped uh, a swag poison instead you don't even need two poisons guys <laughs> you don't <laughs> why did we need the donated spell nice job dlt sexy attack welcome to invicta buddy all right so that about does it for this recap really nice war uh nice to get a little bit of adversity in the in the random matchup wars uh these <laughs> Um, I actually think uh, Invicta was trying to match an arranged war. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the war they're in right now. Uh, I know Invicta just tried to do an arranged war with uh, with the clan they did a Hog Rider series on or something like that. Um, and unfortunately, they didn't match. <laughs> so hopefully, they're uh, they're doing uh, after the war. I believe they're going to try and match again. Don't quote me. So should be some good content uh, coming from Invicta. These guys are just bosses. Like, look at this man. Cleared the board. Nice job. Very, very nice. Um, so yeah, just going to keep rolling with the content on labs. I do want to say yesterday I did hit my first thousand subs. Um, we have 8,750 subs on labs. When I took it over, we had 7,750. So in my mind, that's my first thousand subs after taking over labs. So guys, love you all. Thanks for your support. Uh, really going to try and keep pushing some fantastic content. I would like to see us hit the 10,000 sub mark, uh, hopefully by spring. Uh, we're getting close though, uh, very close to 9,000. So I think that is very attainable. Um, and the way I'm going to do it is continue to bring this extra content. Um, some of you guys got to realize too, as I do recaps for two clans, right? So I don't have that lull in between. I don't have that prep day to do some extra content. Um, not making excuses for myself or maybe I kind of am, but, uh, my goal here is start bringing some offensive videos, uh, kill squad how to's and some back to the basics on, like I was just talking about, um, you know, standard chatter, Lalo, standard chatter, go ho and how do you take those attacks and hybrid them into something with Valks or hybrid with the, you know, how do you change those attacks? How do you, how do you fit a queen walk in to a shattered goho? Things like that. Um, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the base building series. Episode five, Cad and I are putting heads together. This is going to be a more detailed, um, maybe not detailed because the other ones are pretty detailed, but, uh, a fancier type of base building video. Um, you know, so we're, we're, it's going to take a little bit longer for us to plan and get that one out. Uh, but number four is up and live. Lalo Defense was a really great video, I thought. Uh, check it out. It is in the playlist. Uh, it is going. So episode five is getting worked on. Like I said, I'm going to be hopefully getting some uh, uh, offensive videos going for you. I had a, had a couple different ideas that I'm really trying to roll out here. So that about does it for me for the afternoon, though. It was a late night. I uh, got a lot of stuff to take care of today. So that should do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three-star. And until then, I'm out.